Okay, so this member asked that whether withdrawal of the beta blockers uh, can cause MINOCA. So MINOCA means myocardial infarction with non-obstructive coronary arteries. So the answer, if we say directly, it's no, but indirectly it is yes. So understand that why. So when a patient is started on beta blockers, what happens? It blocks the beta receptors and occupies that. So that the patient's heart rate it settles down to 60, 70 like that. Now how body tries to overcome it two ways. One, it upregulates uh, the receptors and increases the number of receptors. Upregulates means the, the receptors which are already present or which are free, they are become more sensitive to catecholamines. And secondly, they also increase the number of some receptors. Now, when when uh, when the patient is, is stopped, uh, when, the, when the beta blockers are stopped in such a patient, what happens? The catecholamines which are there in the patient's bodies act on the receptors. So your number of receptors are slightly increased and more importantly, they are more sensitive uh, to this uh, catecholamines. So that's why now the uh, patient goes in which of withdrawal state. Usually it comes after 24 to 48 hours after the stoppage of the beta blockers. And what happens at that time? Because of the catecholamine more sensitivity, the patient develops tachycardia uh, and surge and there, there can occur coronary vasospasm also. So first is the coronary vasospasm which can lead to minoca and also there is a supply demand mismatch because the heart rate is so fast, the tachycardia about 120, 30 times arrhythmia also. So the demand of the heart increases which the uh, body cannot supply timely. So it occurs and causes M2 type of MI. I mean, oxygen supply mismatch. So that's why withdrawal of beta blocker always has to be monitored with caution and it can uh, provoke minoca, myocardial infarction in non-obstructive coronary artery, especially type 2. So thank you for asking and do read more about it.